Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on Monday, January 21st, 2019, with a Twin Flame reading post eclipse. So, post the January 2019 eclipses, what are the energies and what are the manifestations of these transformative? eclipse energies for the divine masculine twin, the feminine twin, and the union. At the end of the reading, we'll have an Archangel Michael message, and I'll send you some Reiki healing. So before we get started, just want to remind you to please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I have a new channel called Lucid Z with more general info. I'll list that in the description box as well as the website, TwinFlameRx.com, where you can find me. I've been a psychic all my life and have been professionally doing readings again for the last two years online as part of my divine mission. And we're going to get started now. So this is my new Zen calendar. We'll talk about, um, you know, we'll read the quote and we'll talk about what it means a little bit and then I will start our reading. So it says here, peace is something you'll never experience if you keep letting things you can't control control you. Let it go. Very, very important message. Anything in your life that has been causing you distress that you can let go of, it's best to just let it go because we're in this new period. We're in the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Um, whenever we go into that 5D frequency, when Gaia does ascend, when the shift happens, when the event happens for all of us or most of us, maybe not all of us, um, we will be living in the age of Aquarius in 5D, which is all about humanitarianism. It is my sign. Um, so yes, my birthday's coming up. I'm an Aquarius. And so I've been experiencing a lot with these uh, last two years of eclipses, let alone going back to 2015. The eclipses affect each of us in a different way because wherever our sun, moon, or rising sign is, if it's highlighted as a north or south node in the eclipse, um, or if it is part of the aspects of an eclipse, then you have a stronger response. And then each eclipse affects a different house in your natal chart. And so I know for me, my uh, house of self has been dramatically affected and transformed. And so I feel like now I can really be my authentic self and tell you what's been going on with me. The last six months or so because so much has happened and so much new awareness and ideas about this journey. So that will be featured in different videos. Um, I know I've said that before but spirit kept holding me back but now I really feel like the new me has entered the scene because of all the changes and ideas and insights that I've gained through this process of further awakening by being on this twin flame path. So I've been shuffling and now I'm going to concentrate more and ask Divine Source to shuffle and give us some information on what's going on. Let's start with the Divine Feminine. Let's look at body, mind, and spirit. Actually spirit, mind, then body of the Divine Feminine before and after January 5th through January 21st eclipse season. By the way, yesterday's eclipse is the only one of its kind this year, total lunar. All right, past, or I'm sorry, that's the past um, before the eclipse. That was the spirit, this is the mind, this is the body of the Divine Feminine, what the Divine Feminine's actions are. Here's the spirit or soul, the mind after the eclipse, and how the body is reacting for the Divine Feminine. So let's start with the top level and compare. So before the eclipse, the Divine Feminine was actually doing pretty good. So working hard, realizing that she or he is a twin. We have this infinity symbol. So pretty much like knowing that, and again, this is the soul. So the soul knew that the Divine Feminine maybe had recognized her twin or had been associating with her twin. So the soul of the Divine Feminine was trying to 
help to anchor that soul recognition of being a twin into the earth grid so that I'm saying that because we have the infinity symbol with the pentacles, which are the most earthiest of the suits in the tarot. And that was before the eclipse. But after the eclipse, there's going to be more of an emphasis for the divine feminine on not just building with the divine masculine or the divine feminine higher um the divine feminine and the divine masculine's higher self so maybe they're not there in the physical just yet but there's going to be more of an emphasis for the divine feminine to find that physical twin to have a physical reunion and union with so whatever stage of the journey this may or may not resonate for you but this could just be further building the physical nature of the connection into a, a relationship here on earth so that will be the emphasis for the divine feminine soul to urge the mind and the body. So the other thing about the soul before and after the eclipse is that the soul urge is coming from the soul contract that the divine feminine has with the divine masculine twin about their journey together and their union reunion here on the earth plane. So the soul of the Divine Feminine has been trying to get the Divine Feminine to realize that he or she has to put in the work, so start working on her own mission or his own mission in the past before the eclipse. So Divine Feminines were doing that. But now after the eclipse, the soul is urging the Divine Feminine to kind of, you know, um, start thinking about building more, you know, building a legacy and so that's the soul urge. That's what the soul wants. Now, in the past, before the eclipse, the divine feminine's mind was looking for that, was looking, you know, saying, hey, you know, we want, I want that love. But see, this is, this is just the love that the divine feminine wanted before the eclipse. So the mind was thinking about, you know, being a family, being in love with the divine masculine, having children together, the unconditional love, just all the lovey-dovey stuff. All right. Now, after the eclipse, the divine feminine may be realizing that there's a lot of illusions out there of what true love might be. Okay. And that could be because of all of the ups and downs and ins and outs that the Divine Feminine has had throughout the journey, maybe also with the person they think is their twin. And when I say they think, it's because there's often, um, there's often a misunderstanding involved. Okay, so I won't go too much into that, but sometimes we misunderstand because we watch other readings or find out about twins and then think, well, we need to find our twin most twins who are true twins did not know what a twin was until they met them. Then they were like, what is going on? And started doing research, even spiritual people. Because once you feel the vibration of the twin, which is a real high level vibration of unconditional love and it's like out of this world, then you never go back to a regular connection like that you just have with anyone normal walking down the street, I guess. Um, but that doesn't mean that you should stay in a relationship that is possibly not, maybe it's toxic. So that's why I feel this card came up for the Divine Feminine's mind after the eclipse. It's like, okay, I wanted all those things with this person I think is my twin, but do I really want those things? So it could be, this could mean a lot of things. It could also mean that the, um, for some, you know, the illusion of marriage, what you think marriage should be, um, and that it's the end all and be all, okay, that illusion might not seem that attractive anymore. Like maybe because your twin is dysfunctional, um, if they are abusing you and you're not even in a relationship, then you need to have more self-respect. And that's something that you need to learn on the journey is how to love yourself, how to respect yourself, how to not allow others to disrespect you, how to have those boundaries and only keep 
non-toxic people out of your life, even if they are healing because you are not responsible for them accepting that they need to heal and then actually doing it. So I feel like this has a lot of meanings. The Divine Feminine may be, um, you know, revisiting what she thought she wanted, thought, in the thought space. That, But I think it's also realizing that this 3D world is an illusion. So some of the things they might be seeing, like online and social media, Divine Feminines are seeing pictures of their beloved with somebody else over the holidays, for example. And those things, you know, are happening partially because they are an illusion to try and trigger the divine feminine to heal the parts of the of herself or his self that do not feel that they are enough for their beloved. If they felt like they were enough, they would have walked away from the situation long ago, okay? So just because you, f you, know, you feel like this twin is awesome, it's because in the beginning they validated you. They showed their authentic self, um, they they didn't hide their authentic self from you if they're a true twin. Now, if they are some other type of connection, which could just be like, you know, a energy vampire, a narcissist, a sociopath, psychopath, just, you know, just a manipulative person, basically, they could pretend by love bombing you and hooking you that, you know, they are your mirror, your soulmate your ultimate soulmate and you might think they're your twin because then they push you away but see that's where the deception comes in and a lot of twins you know co people come to me and they ask me if so, so and so is their twin and I feel like it's you know really abusive and they have not even been on a date with this person at that point I say walk away if that person truly is your twin they will get themselves together because you walked away so never be afraid to walk away from your twin even if they are being toxic. That's why if it's a real toxic person and you walk away, then you are blessed and your true twin will come into your life when you learn the lesson that you were blessed, that you were protected by being separated or leaving that situation. All right, so I feel like the Divine Feminine can still want to have this with whoever their twin is. But just let go of the perception of the physical twin because whether that person is your twin or not, like it really doesn't matter until you learn the lesson that you deserve someone who wants you and who wants to be with you the way you are right now. So if they don't, if they're making excuses or running away or whatever, leave them alone. Don't chase them. Don't try to convince them. Just work on yourself and know that you are good enough, smart enough, all those things. And when your twin wakes up, they will be back. Okay, so that's what I think that's about. Um, now for the last card, we started with the spirit, then the mind, and now this is the action. So in the past, the Divine Feminine was like looking pissed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But, you know, looking and saying, look at that divine masculine. <sighs> what a douche, you know, like, what are they doing? So kind of feeling stubborn and kind of observing the divine masculine doing what they're doing and not being too happy about it, but not like not moving forward on their own, not doing much. But seven is a divine number. So don't feel bad if that's how you felt because it's okay to feel that way, to get angry and upset. You know, when you're, when you're sad, there's not a lot of action. But when you're angry, that shows that you start the grieving process of letting go of that person that's not good for you and the illusion of them and whatever they told you that they haven't been living, okay? So... When they were their authentic self, if it was your twin, they told you things that were true. But then they got scared and ran, and that's their business, okay? So you can stay in that position all you want, and I did it for a very long time myself. And, and you know, I'm not doing it anymore. So, like, I totally let go of my twin. Like, I thought I did, like, a whole bunch of times before, and but I was really looking like that. And now I'm not looking like that. I'm looking like this, and this is how most of us are going to be 
like most of the people watching, most of the divine feminines watching, are going to be ascending, letting go of all the expectations from seven, right? We have the eight of cups, and eight in this deck is always somebody looking to the sky, looking like they're shooting upward, flying upward. And I have to tell you more about my own shift or event experience, but basically it was it was like in April of this year that I was dreaming after I did a Stargate meditation and I was like in the 12th dimension. A couple days later, in my sleep, I felt that I was going to not breathe again. Like I felt like the lung, my lungs were deflating. And, and I, in my dream, I was panicking. And then right now I live on the 38th floor of a very tall building. And basically like I felt my body left the, the apartment and now was outside in the air. Okay, so I was like outside my apartment window, in the air, in the dream, couldn't breathe. I think all the pressure that was pulling me upward kind of sucked the air out of my lungs. And then all of a sudden I like felt like I could breathe again. And I, I was jolted awake, but not really. I was still asleep. So I think I was lucid dreaming. And then I just came into this whole new level of awareness at that time. And now I think, you know, everybody has their own idea of what this shift is and what this event will be. But I feel like it's a personal event for each person as we ascend. And then when the consciousness of the planet is raised enough, we'll have a bigger possibly event or there will be some... I don't know, demarcation, like we'll know that we're all in the fifth dimension and the new earth and everything at that time. Like now we're kind of shifting into it, which is really what the age of Aquarius is all about. Let's look at the Divine Feminine's other cards here. We have the Soul Journey card by James Von Pra and the um, Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue, kind of just to like confirm what we saw in these cards. Um, so basically this is, Going forward with the Divine Feminine, soul wants them to work on. Imagination wants the Divine Feminine to embrace and nourish the creative aspect of our minds. So that means we're in the three year now. This means we need to be creative. We need to tap into our sacral chakra energy and create. That's what our souls want us to do. And Divine Feminine's hearts and minds and actions should be all about trusting. So the 3D is working on trusting that we are twins, that the divine has a good plan for us, that we can keep moving forward in our lives, listening to our higher selves, our intuition, trusting in the signs and synchronicities we get, and moving forward. Whether we're with our beloved or not in the physical, we know that if it is meant to be, if it's part of our soul plan, if we really believe it and feel that this is what's meant to happen. It will manifest. Okay, so trusting is an active process. Every day you have to recommit to trusting the divine, that the divine knows what's best for us and we're moving forward fearlessly. All right, so that's for the divine feminine. Hey, divine feminine, work on trusting and being creative. The next six months, there will be definitely changes individually for each twin. We're going to move into the Divine Masculine and look at the evolution based on the eclipses. So before, spirit, mind, and body, and after the eclipse, same kind of spreads. All right, one more shuffle and we'll cut. Okay, so spirits of divine masculine mind and body or actions before the eclipse, after the eclipse, spirit, mind, body, action. Wow. Okay, so divine masculine before the eclipse were getting into their more intuitive energy. Their soul was urging them to listen to their intuition more. And I've been seeing this a lot in private sessions. 
So that's before the eclipse. Um, after the eclipse, the Divine Masculine's soul is urging them to, I believe this means change. So if they're with a karmic love partner or they have a weird mindset in relation to love, that's all changing now after the eclipse. The five is about changing. The cups are about love. So the soul and the subconscious of the Divine Masculine is urging them or was urging them, listen to your intuition. Now it's saying, change how you view love. Okay, so, you know, it's not what you think it is. The 3D is an illusion, Divine Masculine. If you're with a karmic partner or masking your feelings using, like, drugs or alcohol, this is not the way to go. The soul, Your soul wants you to feel this unconditional love and live it and be it. So after the eclipse, the soul is urging the Divine Masculine to think about love differently. Okay, and as far as the mind of the Divine Masculine, before the eclipse, we were already undergoing a death, a death of the ego, or the unhealthy parts of the ego were dying off for the divine masculine and keeping the healthy parts. The healthy part is your authentic self and your boundaries around keeping the toxic out of your life. And so having a healthy ego is a good thing. So ego is not bad. The damaged ego is bad. The hurt ego, the ego that wants to control is bad. That's unhealthy. There's a, a rebirth coming. After the eclipse, the Divine Masculine is going to be putting more of their attention into the three energy. This year is a three year. It's about mission. They're going to be finding their sole purpose, thinking, hey, I could do more for people out there. I could even do more for my twin. I'm going to start like helping people. I'm going to start doing things in the physical. That's what their mind is going to be focused on after the eclipse. Divine Masculine, before the eclipse, was thinking about having a new beginning in love. So maybe they were already thinking about um, you know, going, getting away from whatever their karmic situation in love was or is. They already felt the energy for a new beginning and started taking some steps and actions toward it, but maybe didn't really fully do anything. But now, after the eclipse, they're going to want to offer, they're going to desire to offer love to somebody who deserves it and reciprocates it, someone their soul recognizes. We have that third eye up there. So the Divine Masculine is going to be seeking out the person that they connect with on the soul level so that they can start connecting with their Divine counterpart and building this 3D that they're thinking about. But they know that it starts with offering their love, opening their heart to that Divine Feminine and getting rid of the other toxic people and situations that are standing between themselves and their Divine Feminine. As far as the soul card goes, their lesson to be working on, interestingly, their soul is urging the divine masculines to trust. Remember, divine feminines are working on that in the third dimension or, you know, consciously working on it on trusting. Divine masculine soul is now urging them to trust the process and also to accept that their inner voice over here is always guiding them correctly. They started to open up to it because they are awakening. But now their soul is saying, you need to trust that inner voice. You can hear it. You've been taking small steps, but now trust it and keep going. Keep moving forward. Don't be afraid to leave the karmic situations behind, to start thinking about building something with your counterpart and also, you know, get moving on actually connecting with your counterpart. Adding to that, the Romance Angel card is pointing out that after this eclipse, so this energy will trickle down for the next six months, the 3D Divine Masculines will start realizing that they have romantic feelings for their beloved, that they got rid of the karmic and those situations left those behind. Now they're thinking about building something with somebody stable and loving offering their heart to their divine counterpart, they're starting to have these romantic feelings and they're real and worth exploring. So the angels are validating the divine masculine and saying, yes, you can have this, but you need to let go of some things. You need to start putting your mind on your mission and then putting action into giving love to that one person that you know has given everything or would give everything to you, Divine Masculine. <laughs> All right, so basically these energies are really good, really transformative. We're going to look at 
the last two cards over here, which have to do with the union. And then we'll end with the Archangel Michael message and some Reiki healing. So as far as the union goes, what both twins need to start doing, their soul is saying, if you want union, before middle of 2019, because these energies are projecting till then and supporting us till then, accept your beloved. Accept them for the way they are. Accept that things had to go a certain way in the past. You can't change the past. You can only live in the moment and move forward. Let go of everything negative from the past. If you want to be on a new earth, we have to let all of that go, including any bitterness or frustration that we feel because of our twin and because of this journey, we have to accept that it was part of the journey. Understand that. Realize that everything you went through is going to have a divine purpose. It's going to help you to help others, basically, to understand this big energetic shift that our planet is going to be going through because we are making it happen, us light workers, us twin flames, us star seeds. All right, and... The romance angels want us to know that it's safe to love and it's okay to open our heart to give and receive the highest energy of all in the physical. So they want us to do this. They want us to feel safe to love, to let go of all those limiting beliefs. If you need to cure and heal your inner child, you need to, you know, uh, clear your wounds, heal your wounds from childhood that caused you to have all those limiting beliefs saying to yourself that you're not good enough, you're not lovable. All those things that get triggered by your beloved, that needs to be, that needs to be an everyday practice that you love yourself, you respect yourself, you don't even let your twin disrespect you. Okay, once you respect yourself, your twin's going to expect, respect you, okay? So they're sometimes teaching us how to respect ourselves by not respecting us. And that's when we walk away from them. And that's when we do our work. And when we come back together, we see if either one of us is getting triggered again. And then if we're truly twins, we will unite in the physical and work through the rest of it. Finally, Archangel Michael wants to say, focus upon divine and perfect health during the next six months. If you focus on your own Health, and when I say health, we just did spreads, body, mind, and spirit. Make sure your body is balanced and healthy. Make sure your mind is balanced and healthy. Make sure your spirit is balanced and healthy. When your body, your mind, and your spirit are balanced, healthy, and aligned with your higher self, then you know you're in divine alignment, and you're ready for your union. You're in union with the divine and yourself, your higher self, so then you're counterpart will follow suit, mirror you, and you'll both be in alignment. Stay in that vibration as long as possible, and union will occur. So Archangel Michael's message here is a prayer that we are going to say together while I send you some Reiki healing. So God and Archangel Michael, thank you both for continuously reminding us to focus upon perfect health and for guiding our actions so that they support our well-being. And again, body, mind, and soul focus on the fact that you are merging your body, mind, and soul together as one whole. And I'm sending you some Reiki healing so that you get to work on that. And your beloved gets to work on that. And then when you both have that, you will be in your divine alignment and the right vibration for the physical union that you so desire. And I wish that for you, and I send you Reiki healing for both yourself and your beloved in order to manifest that this year. Remember, these eclipse energies last until about mid-year, so take advantage of them by setting the intention to align your body, mind, and soul. Clear out all the toxins if you still need to. Balance your body, balance your mind, balance your soul. And then you'll be on your way to oneness with your beloved. So I hope this reading and message helped you today. I will see you very soon. Namaste.